I'm thinking, how do I stop mess in my vice? Yeah, answer. A plastic container underneath my vice. <laughs> and, yeah, so when I'm working on my stuff and I'm sorting it, all the sawdust will actually go in there. And I've got a magnet as well. And the magnet catches a lot of the stuff because it's uh, going down this plastic. But have another mag once there's enough metal in there, I stick another magnet in there to attract it all. And no more mess all over my top. I'm sick of picking up. I've got another magnet here. And I'm sick of picking up iron filings. Yeah. It's a bloody mess. Yeah. So I'm just uh, hoping that this idea will work. I probably need a big, bigger hole here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not, because a lot of stuff actually drops off here as well. So, we'll see how it goes. See if it works. <laughs> right, I've been making all these videos. Um, about my magnetic gauge and how I'm measuring the magnetic field on my uh, device, which is to generate electricity. But I have actually not um, done any tests to show you how much force it requires to move the magnetic gauge. So I decided, well, it's time to do that. So I've got it on my scale. I'm going to zoom in on the... Right, it's at zero at the moment because I've zeroed it out. So basically everything that's on here is zeroed out to, 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 to nil. Now, the only weight that you're going to see is from this neodymium, which, well, actually there's six neodymiums, and that's what I use usually on my um, magnetic um, uh, generator, my concentrics. So we're going to see how how much force in grams it takes to move the magnet. Now if I bring this close to the um, gauge, you'll notice it starts to move. Now how much force does it actually take? Because this is usually the, the kind of setting I see on my gauge. That's actually five point, that's about five grams of force. So my hand's moving a bit, obviously. But if I move it, how much force does it require to, to move it right to the centre? That's about um, 12 grams, roughly. It's about nearly 12 grams. That's in the middle. Now let's see how much force it actually takes to move it even more. Now, it's actually two-thirds now the way down. <laughs> yeah, I pushed it off the actual thing. That's how much force there was there. I need to keep this dead straight, otherwise it will fly off. Right, let's get this down. Right, we're about two thirds, and that's how much force. We're at thirty. We're at forty grams. Forty grams is t a force. Is two thirds. As you can see, it's logarithmic. Now, if I back off a bit, so about halfway, that's at um, 14 grams. You can see the difference in my actual um, gauge, that it actually requires a lot more force as you get near higher up the magnet. Now, let's back up a bit more. Now, now we're about... That's about the, the marking I normally get on a relatively weak magnetic field. And that's 4.8 grams. So you can see the difference. Uh, we actually need a lot more force at uh, three quarters than we do for a quarter. Because if I uh, times that quarter by three, you would expect it to be 15 grams but it's not, it's actually around 40. So let's go again. I'll have to be careful it doesn't fly off. As I move it closer, you can see how, much, how close I am now. Right, we're about 
two thirds and I can actually move it quite a there's quite a variation I can move it because it's actually sticking a bit in the tube but we're at about 30 grams at the moment that's about there let's see if I can get it a bit more that's about as much as I can get it <clears throat> and we're actually at 30 grams not 15 as we expected now because you see the closer that little magnet in the middle gets to the magnets at the bottom the greater the op opposing force will be because it's logarithmic it's, lo it's logarithmic it's not linear so i'm back up again so about let's see let's go about halfway i think we're about halfway and now we're about 12 grams so you can see the difference. Anyway, I thought I'd make this video so you can get a rough idea on what my gauge is actually measuring in future videos or in past videos. Now I have got other gauges. Now if it's only moving a fraction, let's see if it's just moving a tiny fraction, oops, too, too much about that much a tiny little amount <laughs> we're all 0.2 grams well 0.6 0.5 see what i mean there we go right let me just pause because i've actually got other gauges and these are not my favorite ones though because um these take I've actually made these earlier, and these actually are much much harder to operate, which which means I need a lot more force because these are the ones I resort to as I get my magnetic fields even higher. Um, now this is one of my favourites, which I made. It's got two ferrite um, rings, cores in there, and it runs very easily. It's very smooth. But it requires more force to operate this one simply because there's only one magnet at each end instead of two. Now let's measure this one. Well, you haven't really seen me using this gauge. And I've set it in place. Now, the, the, because it weighs differently, the scale needs to be zero. So I'm going to press this button. And we're going to zero that out. And now we're going to measure the force on this one which is, as I say, it requires a lot more uh, force. Now, we're about, um, roughly about where we were on the other one, but this one reads 5.8 grams, instead of about mm, 3 or 4. So it requires quite a bit more. Let's see how far we can go. Um, halfway. I think that's about halfway. Well, that one is, um, oh, I moved a bit. That one about halfway is 13 grams. If I go a bit more, we're actually nearly at as maximum as far as it will go. That's reading about 25 grams. That's about 20 grams, 25 grams. But I've got the magnets very close to it, as you can see. I can't touch it. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> right, we're still zeroed out. See, this one's a lot smoother in operation. There's a move of magnets. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of force on there. And my scale's got knocked out for some reason. Zero out. Right, let's try and back off a bit. 
We're about halfway. Uh, I'm trying to keep it steady. We're about 20 grams. It's about there. So anyway, just to give you a rough idea of, because I'll be using this gauge at some point, because uh, as I get my magnetic field stronger, I'll need a stronger gauge. So this will probably be the next one. As I say, I prefer to use this one than those, because they're very sticky and they're not very, and there's a very short um, um, distance for them to run. So anyway, I prefer this one as the second one, which I'll be using. Anyway, thanks for watching.